Come here. <laughs> Stop crying. Hi, <laughs> buddy. Hi. No barking. Oh, no. Kingy. Sit. Good boy. Oh, note. If you're just here for my vlog from the first week I moved in, it will be at this point in the video. So just like fast forward to that. If you don't need to know this information, you can just skip this part, but yeah. <laughs> hey guys, this video is about um, tips for buying your first home. It's more of a like soul to soul chat than um, like a, logistic, this is about the money and the finances and the papers to sign. It's not really about that. It's just more about things that I went through when I was buying my first house. And we have Kingy here. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> and he's concerned about what I'm doing. So he's gonna hang out here. So if you hear something or see the camera moving, it's this guy. So let's jump into the first tip. Oh, and I forgot to say this video is probably gonna be kind of long, so like, Get like cozy, get comfy, grab a blanket, get a warm drink, sit down, put some sweatpants on. So my very first tip, I'm just gonna be petting him the whole time, I hope that's okay. Um, my very first tip is to find a realtor um, that you trust and don't settle. So my realtor, her name is Dom, and Dominique, and she kind of just fell into my lap. She was a client of mine um, that same year I photographed her wedding but I just feel like super lucky for that reason because she understood me as a client so well and that's not always the case so I have never like bought a house or anything and obviously like you can tell already probably by my personality what I'm like I want like an intimate personal experience I'm like a homey girl um, I'm just like a homebody kind of girl kind of like introverted and I I just don't know a lot about buying houses because I've never done it so the great thing about her is that she's also like young she's my age she's younger than me and she just understood the place that I was coming from and didn't like judge me by any means or anything by the questions I would ask her. She had it really laid out for me. She I felt like like a friend and she ended up being one of my really good friends in the end of it. But she um, would like reply to my text right away and like when I actually had bought the house like put my deposit down she sent me like a list of like everything I needed to do like websites to go to things I needed to change over everything she was just really thorough and like I needed that for my especially as like a first-time buyer I needed all of that if I didn't have her I would have been like I probably wouldn't have even bought a house because I would have been like oh this is too crazy um so yeah definitely do your research and find the realtor that's right for you if you're not like me and you just like not that kind of experience I know a lot of realtors um just kind of like want to get the job done and that's okay if that's if you're that kind of client then that's the realtor you should find but um yeah it's just find what's right for you i guess you should say or i should say okay my next tip is to be specific about what you want and i realize that that is easier said than done because as first time homeowners you don't really know what you want right off the bat i had no idea um i knew one thing i knew i wanted a house with character and i wanted a fireplace those were the only two things that I knew. So basically every house that I went to that had character and had a fireplace, I was like, sold. This is what I want. But there's so much more to it. So um, it really it really helps your realtor to, to narrow down your search if you are more specific, I think. Um, once I, I can say this for a fact, once I had a list of exactly what I wanted, I got this house that I'm living in today the very next day. It was just so obvious and clear to me that this was the one. It had everything I wanted. So yeah, really be in depth about what you want. It's not just you want to buy a house. You want to buy a house for a lot of reasons. For me, I wanted to, I work from home, so I wanted a house that I was comfortable in that had lots of character. As you can see, these nice stairs. 
um, had like lots of beautiful light, was in a good location. So yeah, just be really specific, I think. Okay, so my next tip, I think, goes into my last. So look at a lot of poems. And I say this because I made the mistake of falling in love way too quickly with each house that I went to. As I said before, if it had character in a fireplace, I was sold. Um, yeah, that's not the way to go. So <laughs> look at a lot of homes. I think that we think if we like a house and we don't put the down payment on it right away, that it'll be gone and that's the end of it and there'll never be another house for you, but that's actually not true. Um, there are a lot of houses out there and even if you don't get the one that you thought you wanted, there's going to be another one, like just like it or even better. And that's what happened to me. There was one house I was like, had my heart set on. I was like, I love this so much and I didn't get it. And then I ended up getting this house and now I realize I am so much happier here than I would have been there. Um, like it's even crazy to think that I wanted to live there because it would not have worked for me. So yeah, look at lots of homes. It's kind of like dating, just like keep your mind open to everything. <laughs> Don't settle too quickly. Okay, exactly what I just said is the next tip. Have an open mind. Now, when, as I've grown up, I have always known that I wanted to live in one place. And that was where I grew up, Prince Edward County. Um, it's, I have a very emotional connection to it and attachment to it. I just, my mom lives there, my dad lives there, my sister lives there, my brother doesn't live there, he moved to where I live now, but I just, I thought that was the place for me. So I was very dead set on that, but once I opened my mind and like actually considered my lifestyle, it didn't make sense for me to live there and I'm so happy about that now. So I work from home and I need good internet. I need it to be easy for me to go to the grocery store, especially like living on my own or buying my first house. I need that to not be like a huge challenge because obviously I lived with my mom before. So like we would either just both go get our own groceries once in a while or she would just get them. So I needed not it not to be a huge, my whole life to just kind of like flop upside down. And in the county, there's not as much, um, like it's not as accessible as it is as to where I live now. The other thing was like, if you live in the county, you probably have like a huge yard and like the roads are gonna be worse in the winter. And like, I just, I just don't wanna deal with that for my first house. And as someone who's self-employed and really just like driven by my job, I just, I, I didn't wanna deal with that. So I'm so happy that I like reconsidered and moved to where I live because my life is like, so much easier my job is so much easier now it's insane the other thing about having an open mind this is something that Dominique pointed out to me and I didn't even realize that this was a thing but I think it's because I'm a photographer I'm a visual person that when I would go into homes um, I wasn't looking at the stuff and apparently a lot of times she said that when people go into houses they're looking at like the color of the walls how messy it is how like shitty people's like couches are like stuff like that that doesn't matter because it's not gonna be there it's not like the end of the story like that stuff's all going to be gone you can change the color of the walls for me when i had like when i got specific about what i wanted i made a pinterest board and i had in it like basically pictures of what I wanted so I could visualize myself being in that space and living in that space it matched my lifestyle and then when I came into like these houses I wasn't looking at the stuff I'm looking at the rooms I'm looking at the light I'm like the things that are actually going to be here and then being able to visualize myself in that space without all like the stuff like you have to look past that so yeah that's another like keep an open mind yeah i think that's the end of all i wanted to say <laughs> just don't let someone else's stuff keep you from seeing the biggest bigger picture i feel like this is really like meaningful <laughs> this conversation <laughs> told you if you sold us all okay so my last tip actually is going to have something to do with finances and it's just a simple tip so i was always told that i was supposed to save five percent for a down payment on your first house 
so that's good whatever but really you need to save at least 6.5 percent because you have to account for like closing fees lawyer fees inspections stuff that does come up and i think if you have like a good real estate agent they'll talk you through that um kingy but kingy what's wrong um i want to keep this as lighthearted as possible because i think there are other kingy there are other videos out there that uh, will go into more detail on that if that's what you're looking for that's definitely not like my place to tell you what to do about like all that stuff i just i don't have an interest in it having way more than five percent saved is really helpful because you don't have to worry about all those fees like the additional fees and the other thing was that you want like a little to a lot of wiggle room when you move in because there's going to be stuff that you want to buy like i feel like that's just common sense there's going to be you don't want to buy paint and like furniture so definitely have more than five percent saved i would say even ten percent and if you have more than that saved you can just put it down on your mortgage do a bigger down payment than five percent it makes your mortgage like cheaper and you don't have to borrow as much from the bank but yeah i don't want to say too much about that because it's just not my expertise the other thing i wanted to say about like my experience with financing it was that i was out of school for two years when i bought this house so the bank wants two years of your income so my first year of income wasn't the best because I was just out of school and then my second year of income was better so I knew that I could save enough and be able to afford a house but the bank doesn't really care about that they just want to see the numbers so my advantage was that I got a co-signer which was my dad and I am so like so unbelievably grateful for that because again I know nothing about this stuff so he was really helpful to bring to like meetings at the bank and stuff because he could talk me through like his experience and like what i should be looking at and stuff like that and the other thing that like he taught me was that about was mostly about like mortgages and stuff but was about interest rates so my first interest rate that i was offered was like apparently a normal amount but again don't settle too quickly because he got me an interest rate because he co-signed with me Oh, like that was less than half of that so like that is something I would have never known and I'm, I'm just so grateful to have someone that I could have relied on now if you don't have someone you can always like do the research yourself and educate yourself of course and that's what I would have had to do but um, if you do know someone that you do think is like good with money or like that you can trust definitely like reach out to them whether it's like a family member or, like a friend or I don't know if like you'd ask your boss that but <laughs> um someone you can rely on and trust and um yeah i think that will really help in the long run if you're like me but if you're not do your thing girl okay so that is it for my five tips about buying your first home um i have a lot more than this but it just seemed like information overload so if this actually goes out there and helps you and you feel like you want to know like more about my experience reach out to me and i'd love to share some stuff i learned or um i'll make another video on tips for moving actually moving in after you bought the house because there's some stuff there that i think is important but yeah i'm also including my vlog from the first week i bought my house so i think i forgot to say that at the beginning but i'll put a little note and yeah here it is it's big day big day We're moving into a house today. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Not really moving in though because there's a lot to do before that. We're just bringing my work stuff over. It's a big, some work. It's a big day for us. We're going to paint a little bit. Bring you along for the ride. This is basically the reason I started vlogging. For like when things like this happened. Did you know that? Remember when I started vlogging, it's like, I just want to be able to remember the day we moved into a house and yeah. like, remember this, remember that. And now this day is here. That's unreal. That happened. You just say it? And it happens. Okay, uh, we're going to get some shit done. We left our money here. Do you want cheese on a drink? No, thank you. Mom's hey. making us a sandwich. 
I'm not even cutting Being a good mom. <laughs> oh, I almost lost my sandwich. You have a fridge and an oven, which is kind of a bonus. And a dishwasher. Yeah, like you can at least. And the laundry. Even. Stay on the paper clip. Oh, that's fancy. Yeah, and they're on a paper clip. One um, key or more than one? Sold! Jordan, <laughs> we already did the inspection, babe. I know, this one looks. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, you try. Maybe that's why there's two keys. Thing, yeah. I tried that already. Oh, try to open it. I think they gave you their own keys? No, because it went in the other one. Oh, so one's for the door and one's for the... No. So we're not going to have two sets. We hope she's going to... Just get them cut. But make sure and use the good one. Or, yeah, make sure and cut. I'm not going to really do because I... Oh, really. He's so nice. Yeah. The previous owner got me a card. You don't know, it might be. Oh my god. Maybe he's got groceries in the fridge for you. Thank you. Holly, with sincere thanks and appreciation, we are sorry about the shower head. The new one should be here Monday or Tuesday. This, there is wine in the fridge. Enjoy the house. Shauna and Thomas. Aww. That's nice. Oh, that's their number too. I shouldn't show that. That's so nice. That's really nice. Shauna and Thomas are the best. All right, here's your first little look at our house. It's so empty. Yeah, your couch is going to be perfect there. It's not going to be that like stick out. And even if it does, you're going to want it to. Mm hmm. Jordan, wait for me. Yeah, on the court. A what? Court. That's good luck. This is Jordan's office that he's redoing. It's nice, I love it. I'm happy you got it. Me too. I was thinking there was something right here, but no, it's like a roomy. Yeah, lots of space. My favorite stairs. What a crazy, holy, there's a lot of light up here. This is my office slash closet. This is Kate's room. Kind of hard to like show you what it looks like. And this is our bedroom. Very big. Master. And then this is our cute bathroom. Like literally so adorable. I'm obsessed. I love this bathtub. With a cloth feet on it. Luxury, yo. And I love the floor. <sighs> First day of my new house. <laughs> Dripping with character, they said. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, it's been two days since I vlogged last. The day that we got the house, my camera died because I wasn't prepared. But um, we've done a few things since then. Not a lot, but I guess I'll show you. So this is my joy and excitement right now. Jordan just put my closet up. Ooh, so excited. And we're gonna share this closet. So one will be his side, one will be my side, and then we'll put our shoes there. Um, we painted this room also, um, but I love it. And then I just have my desk here. I'm just editing. And then I'm also going to be getting ready in this room, so I'll probably have like a huge mirror right there. Yeah, I put this clear uh, shower curtain up, and my dad said it looks like I'm trying to kill someone, so I might replace that. Oh, Jordan ripped this carpet off the stairs. So they look like this now. So we have to paint them. But we're gonna do that last. 
because um, we're going to be carrying a lot of stuff up. I don't want us to go with the paint. Jordan <laughs> is in a tank top, except he looks like he's in a t-shirt. And in his tank top t-shirt. Show everybody your uh, nice tan lines. The back of your arms are so burnt. Really? Yes. Um, this room we still have to paint. It's gonna be the same color as my closet. And I brought my um, bar cart here and just put the uh, record player on it with some flowers. Just for a little homey touch to make it feel like it's homey. Yesterday, Jordan tore apart our laundry room. So it looks like this right now. Ay, ay, ay. Day five, we got Jaxie Payton. Jax, how old are you? Nine. What <laughs> year is it? 2019, he's nine years old and he's painting the wall way better and way faster than I have. I this is my done. wall. This is his wall and he started like five minutes after me. So sick. We're just gonna even it out. This is very long overdue. It is many days later, like almost a week later. And look, the room is no longer yellow. I've been here all week um, by myself with Kitty, who is very unhappy um, that she had to move to the city. She's been hiding under my bed all day and comes out only at night and keeps me up. But I think she'll adjust. Um, we moved some furniture in, not all of it. It's still like a complete wreck. I still have to do my full clean. And this room right here is still not done. So I'm waiting on that to be done before I like officially clean everything and get it all right. But my couch is here. I went and bought that um, a couple days ago. I'm just gonna put like a tray on there and like a candle or something. And Jordan put my TV up for me. That is Rachel's lamp because we have no lighting in here, but I'm gonna get um, a light fixture soon. This is Jordan's computer chair that will go in that back room. This is not how this is staying. I bought a chair to match this and it's gonna go right there and then I'm gonna like fully decorate this as time goes on, but we still have lots to do. So Rachel, my sister-in-law, she bought me my first set of groceries. So I have so much food. I can't even believe she did that. And it's honestly been so much fun. Like when the kids come over, um, I love it. Oh, we have our kitchen table here, which I'm painting white. And I have some chili going, which my mom made me. Oops. I wonder if I can turn this down. So I have some of my clothes hung up. This is Jordan's side. He doesn't have anything here yet. This is all stuff that has to go in a dresser that I don't have yet also. This is where my shoes will go. I'm actually dying without my shoes. I really need them. This is my current makeup get ready station situation at the moment. Oh, the bathroom. The bathroom looks so nice. Now it's not blue. Rach painted that for me. It was black. Um, but yeah, I love it in here. My bed that isn't made. Clothes on the floor. Cat toys. Um, this headboard I'm obsessed with. I always had it, but I didn't have the sides on it. And if you ever saw like my um, room beforehand, uh, the headboard stuck out from the doorway so I couldn't close my door. So now it finally fits in a room and Wyatt, my nephew, put these um, on for me. If you want to see the little lady. Hi, puppies. Hi, little girl. Hi, puppies. She's a good girl. So yeah, it's definitely weird like living by myself. Um, like I won't be forever, but the moment it went from like living with my mom to living by myself and Jordan just started school so it's just been kind of me time which is nice because I'm getting lots of work done but 
is weird so far. It's definitely an adjustment. It's been a lot of change 